Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. I want to talk about binomial probability distributions. And a binomial probability distribution results in a procedure that meets the following four requirements. The procedure has a fixed number of trials. The trials must be independent, which means one trial doesn't affect another. There are only two possible outcomes, and the probability of success is the same for each trial. So which of the following meet the, meet the requirements for a binomial probability distribution? Number one, 12 cards are taken from a deck of cards with replacement and the color is recorded. Is it, does it meet all those? Does it have a fixed number of trials? Yes, we're going to look at 12. Are the trials independent? When you replace a card in a deck, that means that every, if you have 52 cards in a deck, you draw one, and then you put it right back. You still have 52 for the second trial. And then you put it back. So there, it's, does not, they are independent because one draw doesn't affect the other one. Are there two possible outcomes? Cards are either red or black. So those are two outcomes. And the probability is, of success is the same for each trial. Yes, there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to draw a black card or a red card. So this actually is a, prob a binomial probability distribution. It has all the things that we need. What about, I talk to students at a South Puget Sound Community College until I find 20 that are taking Math 146. Okay, is there a fixed number of trials? Well, already I see a problem because I might have to talk to 500 before I find the 20 that are taking it, right? So the, there's no fixed number of trials. I don't need to go any further. It does not meet the criterion. There's not a fixed number of trials. Okay, the next one, I flip a coin 100 times and record the number of heads. First of all, I need a fixed number of trials. That's 100 times. I have that. The trials are independent. When you flip a coin, what happened before does not affect what happens this time, right? So they are independent as you're flipping the coins. There are two possible outcomes, heads, tails. Yes, those are the two. And the probability of success is the same for each trial. Yes, because every time you flip it, you get 50, 50, 50, excuse me, 50 50 chance of getting a heads or tails. So that one does meet the criteria. It has all those things. I asked 40 kids how many gaming consoles they have at their house. The procedure has a fixed number of trials. That's 40. Yes. Each trial is independent. Yes, each kid is different. So I'm going and asking them. Each one is independent. There are only two possible outcomes. A problem here. I have asked people how many gaming consoles they have in their house, and they have five, six, two, seven. I mean, it's, it's all over the place. There is way more than two possible outcomes for that question. So that one does not meet the criterion. And number five, 30, 30 18-year-olds and 30, 80-year-olds are asked to throw a shot put four yards. So first of all, there's a fixed number of trials. Yes, we're going to ask 60 people all together. Yes. The trials are independent. What happens with one person does not affect another person, so those are independent. There are two possible outcomes. Either they shoot, they hit the four-yard mark or they don't. That's two possible outcomes. The probability of success is the same for each trial. No, I don't think so. Every person is different, right? We also have these really widely varied ages, so we don't have the same probability of success for each trial. So for that one, I would say it does not meet the criteria uh, for the for the binomial probability distribution. All right, have a fantastic day. We'll talk more about this in the next video.